What makes a game great? A couple of days ago, I was revisiting the famous Shadow of the Colossus for an upcoming video game sort of fame. Shadow of the Colossus is a great game, no doubt. But what makes this game so good? What makes all the great games that we've ever played so good? Half-Life, Ico, The Last of Us, Crash Team Racing, Horizon Zero Dawn, PUBG, Uncharted, and the list goes on and on. Welcome to the first episode of this three-part series on what makes a game great. According to this paper by Carlo Fabricatore, gameplay can be defined as a set of activities that can be performed by the player and by other entities belonging to the virtual world as a response to the player's actions. In my opinion, gameplay is the most important factor that contributes to a game's success, or at least one of them. This is a very controversial thought especially in the gaming industry. Most people and industry pioneers would argue that story is more important than gameplay. And I'm not denying the importance of story. What I am saying is that games such as Ico wouldn't be Ico if it wasn't for gameplay. What I'm basically saying is that great gameplay edges great story and that these two factors should never be mutually exclusive. Developers start the development of video games in different ways. Some, such as Neil Druckmann, for example, the creative director and writer of The Last of Us, writes a compelling story first and then adapts gameplay mechanics to it. Fumito Yudea, the designer of Ico, Shadow of the Colossus and The Last Guardians, on the other hand, starts with complicated game mechanics and then slowly strips them away and then adapts those mechanics to the story. And developers such as Shigeru Miyamoto start with a simple dot on the screen and fill that dot with abilities. This is how Super Mario Bros. was created anyways, and video games such as Super Mario are entirely about the gameplay. Rephrasing my initial point, I think that gameplay is far more important for titles such as Super Mario Bros., who is more famously known for his iconic jump rather than the story, which is, spoiler alert, save the princess. Okay, that's an unfair point. Mario does technically have a story, and some of you might argue that the gameplay of Super Mario is bad. So what happens when you get rid of the story? Well, in that case, you end up with iconic titles such as PUBG, Star Citizen, and Minecraft. The selling point of these games is not story. I mean, I'm really happy that Mark Hamill is in Star Citizen, but that is not the reason why I'd be buying it. Players play these games because of their gameplay mechanics. Remember earlier when I said that gameplay can be defined as a set of activities that can be performed by the player and by other entities belonging to the virtual world as a response to the player's actions? Well, the gameplay of games such as Minecraft, PUBG, Star Citizen is brilliant because it creates a world filled with interactive items and leaves the story entirely up to the player's imagination. PUBG doesn't tell you what to do, that's entirely up to you. And that is exactly what makes this title so appealing the complex gameplay that enables players to create their own story. Okay, I feel like those examples were still unfair. How about we take two iconic, story-driven titles and look at how fun they are if we take the story away? Horizon Zero Dawn is a very good story-driven experience. Anyways, if we take the story from Horizon Zero Dawn, it remains a great title. Guerrilla Games wouldn't be able to explain what's going on with the hologram thing, why is Aloy an outcast? To be honest, she wouldn't even be an outcast. We wouldn't even know why there are giant robotic dinosaurs wandering about. However, the combat would still be great, because defeating one of those monsters is actually quite enjoyable. Shadow of the Colossus would also remain a great title. I mean, why do we play Shadow of the Colossus? Definitely not for the story, but we play it to fight a Colossus. I guess what I'm trying to say is that gameplay is very important, and some developers have completely forgotten that. They'd rather focus on delivering a great story, and there is nothing wrong with that, but there is a true beauty to the gameplay, and it should go hand in hand with the story. And I'm not saying the story is unimportant and that it should be left behind. What I'm trying to say is that developers should focus on both. Because a great game has a great story, but it also includes innovative gameplay mechanics. And I'm making this video because I'm really pissed at Telltale Games. I mean, I got tired of their similar mechanics after a couple of titles. Gameplay is a key part of games, and therefore the gaming industry. And to make games more interesting, gameplay has to keep on innovating. That's why the industry needs more innovators. What do you think about gameplay? And what do you think makes a game great? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. 
Thanks for watching this video. There are upcoming videos on the importance of story and challenge, so would recommend subscribing for more daily content. I've also left a link to all the references in the description down below, so make sure you check them out. Anyways, that's everything for this video. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook at GURPSCHE. Thank you guys so much for watching this video.